let's begin a chapter that is chemical bonding dear student firstly i would like to make you aware about the significance of chemical bonding in chemistry whenever we enter into the field of chemistry that means whether we talk of physical chemistry or organic chemistry or inorganic chemistry it's a true fact that we deal with a chemical reaction and a chemical reaction involves the association and the dissociation of bond so in chemistry chemical bonding has got a vital role so let's discuss what does this chemical bonding mean so before starting the chapter i would like to make you aware what does the word bond mean so basically bond is an attractive force which holds species together so the very first point about a bond is so bond is an attractive force that holds species together like if we talk of solid substances what we observe that the constituent particles of a solid are closely packed to each other what does this close packing represent here that every atom in this packing they are held to each other through a force and that force is called a bond so now we can conclude a bond as a force which holds or bonds species together going ahead we have now the another word bonding so as we are observing in this example that the species are held to each other that means firstly the atoms or the species they approach each other and then they are bonded to each other through a force which we call as a bond so basically for the formation of a bond the species should be approaching each other so bonding is the phenomena which signifies the approach of the particles or the species towards each other for bonding with each other so now bonding can be explained as an approach between species such that they should combine to each other so in chemical bonding we have the word bonding in bonding we had talked firstly about the bond which is basically a force which bonds the species together second we had the bonding word which represents the approach between the species after which they combine to each other now moving ahead a question comes why the species undergo bonding means why the species they try to combine to each other so the question is cause for bonding why substances why species required to undergo bonding so the very first reason behind the bonding is that during bonding when the species approach each other there is decrease in the energy and decrease in energy increases the stability so for the cause of bonding reason is decrease in the energy and hence increase in the stability so we can summarize here that species undergo bonding to decrease energy and increase stability now let's check out how does this happen how during bonding energy is decreased and stability is increased let's see here how during bonding energy is decreased and stability is increased now let us consider two uncharged particles let us call it as case 1 four uncharged particles now let's say the distance between that is the internuclear distance between these two particles is given by l now dear student as it's well known to us that potential energy for uncharged particle is given by the formula mass into acceleration due to gravity into separation between the two particle here m is the mass of the particle g is the acceleration due to gravity and l is the separation between the particle as we have already discussed that during bonding species approach each other that means for bonding when atom a when particle a will approach particle b or vice versa then the separation between the two that is l will decrease now if l will decrease that means potential energy will also decrease now we know that the total energy is given by the formula kinetic energy plus potential energy so we can say that if potential energy of the system decreases that means that will decrease the energy now energy is inversely proportional to stability so when particle a will approach particle b there will be decrease of separation that is length between the two that will decrease the potential energy which in turn will decrease the energy so now we can conclude here that during bonding l will decrease so potential energy will also decrease that will decrease the total energy leading to increase in the stability so the very first fact that bonding decreases the energy and increases the stability can be 
verified through this given data that when particles will approach each other for the purpose of bonding, they will undergo decrease in their internuclear distance that is separation which in turn will decrease their potential energy, decreasing the energy and hence increasing the stability. Now, let us come to another case, case 2 for charged particles. Let us consider two atoms which have nucleus at the center and electrons revolve around them in a fixed orbit. Let us call this one as atom A and this one as atom B. Now, let us take their internuclear distance as R, basically it is the gap between those two, these two particles A and B, these two atoms A and B. Now, when they will undergo bonding, these two atoms will be approaching each other. So, again similar to the uncharged particles, when A and B will be approaching each other for bonding, R will be decreasing. Now, in case of charged particles, potential energy is given by the formula minus K into Q1, Q2, let us call it as QA, QB upon R, where K is some constant. QA here is the charge associated with the particle A, QB is the charge associated with the particle B and R is the separation between the two. So, again, when these two atoms will be approaching each other, the value K into Q1 into QB upon R square will be increasing because R is decreasing. So, when K into Q1 A into QB upon R square will be increasing, so we have got a negative sign before it that signifies the decrease of potential energy. So, when A and B will approach each other for bonding, the distance or the separation between the two will decrease, again leading to decrease in the potential energy and hence decrease in the total energy. Besides this, the force or the attractive force between A and B is given by the formula K into Q1 A into QB upon R square. Here, due to the approach between the two particles, R will decrease and as R decreases, F will be increasing. So, we are observing that in case of charged particle, both radius or internuclear distance and energy between or energy of the system decreases, increasing the stability as well as the attractive force between the particle increases, increasing the stability. So, the overall conclusion is that during the approach between A and B, R will decrease, hence potential energy will decrease, total energy will decrease, attractive force between the particle will be increased and hence stability will be increased. So, whether we talk of charged particle or uncharged particles, when they come closer to each other for bonding, there is decrease in the separation between the two and hence the total energy decreases increasing the stability. Now, let us move to another reason for the cause for a bonding. 